He is actually moving towards mid. They are pinging out Shook. He's going to walk very dangerously close to that Ooh, board. Nice he actually stun. eats a stun. There we go. Maybe they found something. However, Frederick going very low. Froggen looking for revenge, and he gets it. A pair of junglers traded, but it was first blood to Giants as Froggen flashes and a flash. away and from Pepinero's second stun. Into Ari. Let's see Kevin here. That's a very nice setup here. Onto Pepinero. Yep, going to try to find it, but they find Frederick instead, and they'll be able to take him down, smiting him as they go. Kevin coming up with her, his first kill. Yeah. He's spending a lot of time there, though. So Frederick is really banking on the fact that he might be able to find Kevin. We'll see if he sniffs this one out. Tremor sense he's going to be seen by that one. Doesn't know. Still doesn't know, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, it's the Void Burrow where Kevin trying to make his great escape, but it won't be enough. Frederick, with the patience, comes up with the kill. Ten with. Tormented Soil down. They've got the wave clear, but the tower's going to go. Niff is going to land the Tibbers, and here comes Reckless. Shook was right there as well, but Frederick he takes more damage them. than he bargained for. Here comes Frederick to make it the 3v3. Dark Binding not going to connect, and Frederick actually going to back off as the Prey Seeker couldn't hit anybody but the minions. And Elements are using it right to get these outer turrets down. Open up the map here. Start going into the enemy jungle. Get the deep vision down, and then look for your picks. Oh, Froggen waited to the last moment to try to use that last charge, and Frederick Gets kicked back in. Shook is going to pick up that kill. They've taken the jungler out. They've taken the mid turret. And there's no response from Giants just yet. Was nearly a dark binding, but Rydal not able to hit on that one. Good decisive play, however, from Elements. Knowing the top lane, ignore that one. They're just standing one on one. Put all the focus on getting the last two out of turrets down. With your Trinity Force, Corky, obviously Abyssal, Scepter for Froggen. Really like the play. Let's see here. Pepe Nero. Right in the arcade. About Nif. Oh, Nif is oh so low. And they are going to take the dragon. Poor Froggen on his R. He actually likes to go out last as well. Second item to score more tanky. And he keeps timing on to Paper Nero. Yep. Doesn't quite have the damage just yet. But wait, he's got another charge. And he waits until the right time. Takes a couple tower shots. No problem. That was a good play by Giants. They cleared up the two wards that could have been behind them. So now they actually can move in to the dragon. Don't have to worry about Kevin flanking them, but they're going for the fight. Yeah, Whirlib's in front. They've already popped on the hunt. Nif is just isolated from his team. He's going to drop the Tibbers, but they're going to be able to grab him anyways. Now Pepinero, speaking of isolation, kicked back in, and Froggen comes up with another, but they're not out of the woods yet. A big Gnar, but not the direction they wanted to go. Reckless separated up. It's a double kill. Froggen going for another one. Shook is going to be able to zone them out. The Giants are dropping like flies, and it looks like we've got a 23-minute ace. A double kill coming in for Kevin, and how about a dragon for the cherry on top? So Giants here, they tried to set up this fight by clearing the water. so there was no option for Kevin to come behind them with the teleport. And one on two on two situation. So the Frozen Mallet is not going to do anything for him, except for making him less squishy. Yeah, well, Shook wishes he was a little <laughs> less squishy right now. Whirlib is going to be able to get the catch on. What the Spanish guys? Sitting ready and instead actually catching out Shook. So if you see here, there are plenty of wards for them. Now Whirlip is yep. in trouble. And he yeah. is going to be the one getting caught this time around. Trouble. He's going to tunnel out of a bad situation. Dragon's Live going to be hard for them to fight this one. They can one. see Kevin here. Yeah, they know. He's and going he's in actually going to go in. He's going to throw down the tomb. The Tibbers comes out as well. Whirlip taking up as much as he possibly can. Shook picking up Rydal. Kevin is going to walk away from that one. Not too scratched up. Nip in a little bit of trouble himself, but he moves away. Frederick now oh so low. Reckless moving on forward, and he finds Frederick. It's going to be a three for none, and they're going to start looking at Dragon, but Pepinero gets a snipe off on Reckless on the backside. Still a three for one here. Elements once again, they get the flank with Kevin. You saw how Giants were moving in. They were slowly warding up next to them here, making sure, okay, where's the engage coming from? Can we spot it in time? The one place they didn't place the ward yet was at their own blue buff, and that's where Kevin came from. Started the whole fight. Nice engage from him. And also another dragon being picked up. Oh, and mid turret for Giants. Yeah, definitely not been sitting back in this game. And they got to start all the fights. Now Frederick is in trouble. Yep, they do a one-two. How do you do? And Reckless with another kill. Vision from Elements, but every time they do it, they just get punished elsewhere. They're going to try to chase here. Kevin a little bit low, but he's going to be able to move. The right of the Arcane is not going to hit the uh, second rocket. time around, but there's one more left. Another shutdown for Pepinero. He's still grabbing a few things back, but they lost Frederick earlier, of course. They still are playing extremely reactive to what Elements is throwing at them. A little starved. Not so much when you compare, like, Nif hasn't been so far ahead either, but he's got completed items a lot sooner. The Righteous Glory, of course, to help them get a little bit more of their chase on, as they have been. Oh, Pepinero. Goodbye. And Giants no real flank option from Giants.
Yeah, uh, oh, Kevin's okay. a little bit low, so Audrey's going to try to be the hero in this situation, but that tower, it's going to drop anyways. And now, Element's not too worried about it. Shook goes in, comes right back out. They're not going to have enough damage just yet to finish off the inhibitor, but they're zoning Giants away from defending it. And now Elements are going to try to back it up. They realize Meganar's only a few seconds away, and he is going to throw the house at Nip. Oh, and drops the tippers. Throw his tippers. Yeah, he's going to go self-sacrifice. A massive alarm bell for Elements. He's using that greater stealth totem with the two charges, the discount sidestone. Oh, go get it. Well, when Riot's having a two-for-one sale on wards, you might as well. Better get no They're excuse anymore. Advantage. Nope, Kevin is coming on in, but he eats a lot of damage for his trouble. They still blow up Audrey as he was separated out. Right of the arcane, Kevin, Kevin is going to be able to step it out with the double buffs as well. It's a one for none. Face check you. And then you win the fight from there. Well, speaking of face checking, Reckless was in a little bit of trouble, but Froggen to the rescue is able to take out Audrey. They're looking for more after this. The charm, he's able to hit two with one with the charm, one with the ball. And there we go. Giants in some serious trouble. Nip coming up with a kill onto Pepinero. Rydal forced to flash away. It's a two for none. And that might prompt the Baron from Elements. Going straight forward at least. Three guys alive here from Giants. 35 seconds for Archer, he won't be able to join. They're still if Elements start this one instantly here, they can. I mean, if Giants comes down to try and smite steal it, you just go for that fight. Send Lissandro over the wall to lock down the, the wreck side. It looks like it might be the plan. Kevin, though, he's the one caught by the Dark Binding right now. Whirlib is going to keep throwing the boomerang out. He goes Meganar, not hopped over the wall. Actually, Elements, they're peeling away for just a moment. Here comes Frederick. He stole it. What? Frederick comes up with a steal, gives it over to Whirlib and Rydal, and Elements are denied the Baron. Just sacrifice yourself, lock down oh. that jungler, and you avoid him going and stealing it. Oh, Reckless is... Well, he's dead. Two kills. Yeah, they managed to do it just like that. Now he's Kevin, him. what, what is, is going, is on? going on? Audrey comes up with a double. Frog Elements, they just high-fived into death here, and they lose another tower. It just seems like now they're all of a sudden completely out of sync. There's a massive wave here, two cannon minions. That's going to be tower inhibitor. Giants should just try and go for the finish here. You have 30 seconds on Nip. You got five guys. Go and finish this game. The death timers are so long. You're so right. They've managed to grab oh, no, an inhibitor. Happening. What is going on for elements? They look like they, they had the towers game all game long. There's a Nexus turret going down. Whirlup is distracting. Have giants just actually been able towers. to do this? There's one more tower. They're not doing it. There we go. Turn their attention. Giants Gaming, they haven't won a game since week one, but they're about to do it here. They have pulled off the upset. Giants Gaming beat Elements. Oh my God.